Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, Artistic Soul. And in today's video, we are going to be making alcohol inks. And on the side. I was so excited. This was actually something I made during the pandemic. And I just never used them. So I didn't know if it actually worked. The star, 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 star of this video is 91% isopress alcohol and Sharpie markers. You got to crack that open like you're cracking open a crab. Come on, my crab lovers. I know what I'm talking about. You don't need much. Alcohol, 91%. Anything else may not be as strong. You may not get a strong pigment. So I definitely recommend 91% alcohol. You want to try and preserve some of that alcohol and not get all over your table, but get it into the bottle. You can pick up the alcohol ink, no. Rite Aid, Family Dollar, Dwayne Reed, Target, aka Target. Okay, I filled my bottle halfway or less than halfway to allow me to make room to place in the Sharpie color of your choice. This wrench really helped me. I could not do it without it. I tried. It did not work. By me trying to pull it out myself, the wrench helped me to grip onto uh, the front of the marker and take the I don't know tube out with the color that's in there. I'm gonna cut it up and into a few pieces. If you want to go smaller, I think that's fine. I definitely leave the plastic on because that is holding in the ink. Uh, cut it to the shapes that you need in order to put it inside of your container this wasn't such a smooth process <laughs> as you can see i could not get it into that small hole there so i had to do some maneuvering pressed it in i used the top of the, the marker tip uh to push down those pieces inside of there um so i guess if you get uh bottles with different size nozzles or spouts or whatever uh, that would be better, but we made this work. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it. Stuff that in there at all costs. Definitely what you to have on gloves because you will stain your hands and it will be stained for days. You can actually use acetone to try to take it off. But anyways, I sped up this process for you. I'm just going to shake it up really, 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 totally, really good. I think that if you want to add more alcohol, you can, just a little bit. And I am using photo paper for Canon printer. I got from Staples the printer that this is for, the inkjet. Uh, no longer works, I thought out. But I'm like, oh, let me save uh, this paper and see what I can do. So you'll notice that I use the back and the front of the photo paper. Don't forget to check out my other YouTube shorts, Artistic Endeavors. The longer you leave the pigment or the Sharpie alcohol mixture to sit, the darker it will be. The colors that I made are blue, yellow, an aqua blue, orange, black, red. And that's all I can think of right now. They came out pretty awesome and have the funds to purchase any actual alcohol ink already made and I'm always into trying to see if there's a way that I can make some of the things that I want to use in my art and that way I'm able to save more money and I want to say that the alcohol cost me less than $10 the markers that I purchased and these are like leftover markers that I've already started using I really didn't buy I probably bought one or two more colors but these colors I've had for forever and I want to say I probably paid less than $20 for you know that pack of colorful markers I'll send that um, visual on the video I love this blow dryer. 
sidebar i bought it from amazon i saw another artist with it and i'm like it looks awesome it's lightweight the nozzle of the blow dryer wasn't so large but to move the alcohol and this was my first time basically am not uh, skilled at this just yet i, think I want to use a mixture of mediums in some of my upcoming pieces so yes chill i hope you are enjoying this don't forget to like comment and subscribe bye thanks for watching